one of the things I always taught my kids, if I ever catch you being one of those guys that picked on somebody because of what they looked like or what their name was, it was not going to end well. You're out. It was not going to end well. I think one time we were, we were doing something together at the Fort Worth in the stockyards at the Hall of Fame. And I asked you how you got the name Tough. And I've told it a thousand times, but how'd you get the name Tough? Uh, I was the youngest of seven, and uh, one of my father's best friends, we went out to get in his truck, and the door, I got in, I went to reach to shut it, and he slammed it, and slammed my whole hand in it, and then he walked around, got in, I'm like, that hurts, and he looked over, and he saw, and he said, Oh my gosh, and he gets up and runs around, opens the door, and so there's all these creases. And he said, Are you okay? And I just shook my head, yes. And are you gonna cry? And I shook my head, no. He said, Well, you're a tough nut. <laughs> and I'm like, I didn't say anything. And so he started calling me Tough Nut is a nickname, and everybody started calling me that. And gosh, he should have called me stupid because I should have just screamed or did something because. I didn't say anything, and it's an awful name because growing up, everybody would always want to harass you or make fun of you because you well, think we, you're tough. You don't, you don't look so tough to me. I'll show you what <laughs> tough is, and so you had two choices. You could either you, you could you either had to fight or walk away, and if you walk away, then the others would see that you would walk away. So then then they would chime in and. I wasn't all that good at walking away. Yeah, man. I heard so you, you, I heard you, you say earlier that it was kind of like being named Sue. It's exactly like being a boy named Sue. It's like, don't don't harass me because of my name. You don't even know who I am or what I'm about. After you meet me, trust me, I'll give you a lot of reasons. But just by the name itself, it's it's horrible. It's horrible. As a kid. As a kid. It's hard, it's hard to grow up just being a kid without somebody making fun of you because of your name who know nothing about you. It's awful. That's funny you say that. I man. was I was in college. I went to college before where, where? I would ever tell anyone my name was tough. My name was Richard Neal. Okay, so Richard Okay. Well, Even Richard's Dick, a little tough because it's Dick. Dick. It's a, so yeah. <laughs> so my middle name was Neil and I was named after a a, a friend of my father's. He was a, one of the smartest guys I've ever met. He was a veterinarian and just a very smart, well-respected guy. And so I like Neil. So like, I tried to go by Neil. I tried to go by Rick. I tried to go anything but Richard or Tuff. And, you know, your name's your name. It's I always ask that. people, did, did, did you get to choose your name? No. Did you get to choose your name? No. Nobody gets to choose their name. And like, so I'm all, when I had, when I had kids, I was always very, aware of like i'm not i'm not gonna do that to them <laughs> that's funny you say because it man. just it's a it's a shitty way to grow up <laughs> it just is well it's funny you say it because like when you say my name's jack and it's like what is it what is it jack me off it's the same yeah it's the same thing you know my uh my oldest you know my oldest son and you know my middle son you know their grandfather's name is jack a wonderful man and you know when you have when you have a when you have a kid, you know what what about the names? You know my dad, your dad, or this or that. And, you know her her dad was her dad was brought up. And I said, love your dad. Can't Good do guy. it. <laughs> Can't do our it. Son, our son will not be named Jack. I just won't do that to him. It's funny though. Hold on. That's it's funny you say that because being named tough. Is is way and man, the way you grew up is very different than the how I grew up. Like I was, I didn't grow up in the rodeo culture. Which, coming to find out after being an adult and knowing you, that can be pretty tough. That's like living in a football locker room twenty four seven, as far as the testosterone and the the let's go, you ready to go, let's go mentality that you grew up with. But being named tough. Being named, like, I do remember thinking when they were, when, when kids, when one kid got a good, good lick in on my name, Jack, 
Then another kid jumped in, another kid jumped in, and, it, and all of a sudden it's like real funny to make fun of me. I was like, which fight do I take here? Well, it's always funny until it's you. <laughs> yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah, it's, it's, yeah, it's hilarious. But we had to learn, like, okay, man, I'll, yeah. I got to be badass at this other thing. I got to be badass. Like, I have to, I'm sure, the, I mean, it might not all come down to your name. I'm sure it doesn't. No, it, it, it never but does. There but there are things that, like, you had to be a badass. Well, you just had to, you, you just had to fight. You had to fight for, for who you were. You know, it's just, to me, it, it's very unnecessary, you know, and kids are mean, you know, they're just mean, you know? Yes. And so. Thinning of the herd. Well, yeah. So, in some you respects. know, and, and to me, it helped me when I became a father. One of the things I always taught my kids, if I ever catch you being one of those guys that picked on somebody because of what they looked like or what their name was, it was not going to end well. You're out. It was not going to end well. Yeah, to this, to the, to the, no, no, not, not only no, but hell no. Cause I was important because I grew up and, you know, I had great parents and a great family, but you know, when you walk out on your own and you're by yourself and you're surrounded by kids your own age and they start screwing with you because you have a dumb name, it's hard to grow up. Just, it's never easy, but don't make it just harder. Like, I know you don't like the childhood part I, of it. But I, you know, you know what? I take it with a grain of salt. All I know is that, you know, I've, I'm one of the luckiest guys I've ever known. I just am because I was fortunate enough to have a great family, great parents who gave me the opportunity. Uh, my father is not. My mother just turned 92 Monday, and she told me that – I was getting fat. I need to maybe go run down the the road with my dog, get a leg chase. I'll go run away. I was fat. <laughs>